Hi there, this is Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U Turn. Today is December the 13th, 2012, and we had a huge, huge drop in the euro today. Um, but anyway, uh, here's 10 o'clock GMT. Our setup to go short would have been right in here, but as you can see down here, the filter was not lining up from our bullish move up from yesterday. Okay, so basically it didn't uh, turn red until here, okay, right up here. So you could have sold short here, you know, sold all these rallies back into the trigger and trend line, okay. Here was an entry here in the U.S. session and even another one right here that made you a few pips. And it looks like it's coming back down again, but it's getting quiet now. Um, as you can see, it came back from below, came back up 72 pips. That was all profit taking, taking back up. Okay, because of a 254 pip drop from the top. Okay, so anyway, that's it for that one. Let's look at the one minute. We'll take the auto scroll off. I wonder if we had a trade today. Oh, yeah, it was a buy if there was one. Uh, it looks like it happened just, uh, you know, about 15 minutes before we start to look for a trade. I know I have that on the wrong one. It's supposed to be on the 9 o'clock here. Wrong, wrong, wrong place. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There's 9 o'clock. Okay. Um, There's no trades in here. Right here. When I came back down. No, there was no trade there. It was not enough pips from our entry to resistance. And here, uh, we did break through resistance. This resistance to this resistance was nine pips. I don't know if you would have done that trade. You would have made three or four pips if you were lucky before it fell and crashed down. Um, and that's it, basically. Uh, yeah, there was no setups again. Man, it's just sucking for this one-minute Euro scalper lately. Okay, let's take a look at the pound. Yeah, the pound wasn't so great either, was it? See, when we got an opportunity to sell here, it was still black in the filter. Didn't turn red till over here, so could have sold some rallies into the trigger and trend line up in here and here and in here. Okay, and that's it. And the Swissy, same thing as the Euro, didn't line up when we we're looking to buy it. Okay, then it, then it started here. You could have bought all these dips into the tr trigger line. Same thing here, identical as the euro in an opposite way. Okay, let's look at the U-turn. Okay, it got you long up here, okay? There was a W. You would have got long right here, okay? Your maximum pips out of that was 37 before it decided to show a pin bar right here and turn around and come back down. I'll even blow it up to show you. There's the pin bar. See the pin bar? Okay. So... Once it created the M, okay, which is a nice, sharp, perfect M, right some, somewhere right in here, it told you to sell. And the filter below told you it was okay to sell as it turned red right on this close of this one right here. Okay, so you would have got short right here. Your stop would have been about 100 pips. You would have got max to the bottom 160 pips right here. Okay, beautiful trade, beautiful trade. And the pound, I don't think it was so beautiful. Okay, the pound, okay, there was no trade here. There's just going sideways, shot up, came down, created the M. So you would have got short somewhere in here. Or an aggressive trader would have got short somewhere in here. Uh, not so aggressive would have got short here, okay. So you had a chance to make 50 to 80 pips on this trade. And uh, that's pretty much it for the setups for today. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great weekend.